music like in bracket, people um, disagree on, they like to hear the in-game sound. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it's very funny. I listen to different types of music whenever I play. I've actually had people walk up and be like, what are you listening to? And they'd be like Beyonce or like Rihanna. Yeah. Or, or it could be X as Tastion Ski Mask. Like, it, it always alternates because I want to make sure that the music controls my, um, keeps me on my toes. I yeah. don't want to, you know, fall into the music and play too aggressive or, or with an aggressive song. I mean, right now, Jazza is looking like he's playing a little aggressive because he was coming out with that combo early on, starting off here with a, what was that, another narrative dash tag or something? Yeah. Right now, he's adding a lot of percent, doing things that Ken can can do. And honestly, right now, this matchup is not looking It's kind of crazy. Great. Ken's like running Robin down. It looks kind of yeah, funny. This doesn't look <laughs> quite fair. It looks like a lion just chasing after a uh, gazelle right now. Uh, the gazelle's trying their best to just get away, find a way to just ease up. But Ken is just very rapidly aggressive. Yeah. It's very hard, hard punishes. Oh, that Nosferatu is going to come in handy, keep his percent low. Right. And one thing that's going to be really useful against a player like Jazzo, who is so great with parries, is the fact that Robin can mix up the timing on those arc thunders. So Jazzo's never going to really know when he's going to release it. Yeah, very true. Right now, I, I think that could be nope. oh, What a beautiful conversion right there. I told you, dude, this dude's Robin is crazy, right? Yeah. A a absolutely amazing player. Wow. Oh, the mix of all the. Oh, I love it. I, I wanted to see I want to see the hand cam for that right there. That right? was actually insane. And that could take the stock right there. We yeah. might need the hand cam. Although, although Greg is moving around, just trying to keep um, Jazzo out, it's not looking too good for him. Jazzo is all pressure. over the place. Oh, Robin trying to fight out of the corner with the arc fire. Finally getting some stage control back. This is one of the problems in this matchup, right? Oh, Ken has such rapid speed, but that's going to be the stock. Good job. Ken has a lot of rapid speed, and Robin needs to get out, right? But if Ken's frame data, Ken's speed, and his ability to compete with you in the air, it's just not going to work out. you got to find another way. Yeah. And see, yeah, he's actually able to jump around those. Like, Steve wasn't able to handle that. Yeah. Steve wasn't able to jump over. Steve has a low jump, right? He's not able to jump over the Arc Thunder. But yeah. Ken, it's a little different. And what moves does Robin have that are multi hits in the air? Not many. Yeah. So is this really a, a struggle for Robin to either find ground or juggle Ken up in the air? The only thing he could really do, like, against that focus attack in the air is, like, if he spaces Nair the right way where both sides yeah. hit. But uh, other than that, that's an extremely specific interaction. Yeah. Or he could try Nosferatu, but that's too committal. He's going to yeah. have to play it patiently, find his openings, and capitalize on it. He is slowly opening things back up, though. Jazzo laughing about him running into that arc fire. <laughs> See oh. focus attack adding extra movement, and that medium DP will take yeah. the game. That up air was just so quick, and the reactions there was just phenomenal. Yeah. And being able to convert into medium DP, a lot of people don't know that that actually takes a lot of practice for Kevin Mates. He has light DP, medium DP, and sure you can write, I mean, heavy sure you can write there. Right. Um, and the medium one's the one that kills in the air, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, it kills a lot earlier. Um, so Jazza knew how to get that conversion, played it patiently, and saw that he could get the kill right there so, and execute it well. So the heavy sure you can, if you do it in the air, um, is it still as effective at killing, or is, can the person like fall out or DI out? Or, um, like, it can what kill, would be the benefit? But medium DP is better at um, the higher percents. Okay. But if it gets even like even higher than that, you're gonna go for heavy because that has more range. It right. Further. Okay. But yeah. Very good on Jaws just knowing and being aware. See, we got the Ken Ken main on the mic, so we're getting all the <laughs> insider info. <laughs> Jazzo's going to love watching it. He's like, yeah, someone who actually knows Ken. Yeah, very <laughs> insightful gameplay. So uh, anybody wants to learn more Ken stuff, this is a good vlog for you to review. Definitely. I mean, Jazzo is a number, I don't know. I'm going to say number one. I think this kid is the bee's knees. He's out here showing what it takes out here with this uh, Ken. But Yeah, I can't disagree. This kid is showing off the gameplay that needs to be shown off with the Shotos. Proving that he's good with the character, proving that he's comfortable. Proving that he could keep up with even the insane zoning from Robin. But uh, I agree there. Spacing back a little bit, uh, punishing him for that side dead. He's just dead. It's oh, just yeah, insane. that's it. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> Robin matter, has to be careful. Don't get hit. Don't Robin's get trying so much, but the frame data is just not adding up with the speed and mobility against Ken. Oh, that was a great down smash. smash. Yeah. Covering so many options there. Wow. Ken not wanting to cancel. jump in the corner. Try to get some just oh. good coverage off the stage snipe. right there from Greg. Okay. It's a beautiful snipe. That looked beautiful. Paid off. All right. 
Now Greg's gonna have to keep playing the little footies game. Wow. Oh, okay. A little Evo Daigo. moment. Thirty-six point five. Daigo right there. That was crazy. And wearing the skin. Very good awareness by Jaza right there to know to parry all of those. Didn't get really, quite really get too much of a punish right there, knowing how Smash Ultimate is with the parry or mechanic. But oh, honestly, and I love how they're both using that platform in the center. Yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, just the way they're controlling the space on it, the way they're using the, well, Robin's using the B-reverses around it. Yeah, it's something that I learned from Counting Cities that right underneath the platform is where you want to be because the opponent has to either jump over you or you can just cover the neutral from below the on platform. Movement is very restrictive right underneath that platform, to be honest. Oh, no. And that's another stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Robin going for that down smash, but just getting outsped by that quick yeah. down tilt. Frame data coming into play right now. Yeah. That's one of the things that's a little bit harder for I Greg. He mean he's gonna get outsped a lot by these super fast fighting game character moves. Alright. Right now, Greg can try to get the kill and even out the game. It's not that impossible. Um there we go. Okay. Although focus attack eats up knockback, it doesn't eat up percent. It does lower the percent that you take, but it, yeah. you still get percent added onto you. So if you do get juggled with the um with attacks that you know are knocking you back, you're still gonna you know have to be at a higher percent for that. Yeah, so you got to be careful. I yeah, mean, you got to use it smartly because you don't yeah. want to put yourself at too big of a disadvantage. All right. These two, bro, making it. Ooh, look ooh, at that. Bro. I love that. Greg bringing it right back, leading off with. In the Greg game. is definitely a warrior. Dropping it out all that the way. Ooh, and folks attack coming into play right there. That's actually very risky. Nice grab. And, and look at this now, and like now, just especially. Oh, a nice roll read. Wow. Greg turned it up that last time. You know, stock. a lot of people have been showing me today that they love to roll in against Robin's um, down Arc down. Thunder. Or Arc Thunder, yeah. Yeah. And they don't want to jump because that, that forward air, right, yeah. is so deadly. And I don't know why they don't roll out either. It's, it's, everyone's just rolling in. This is the third time I see someone roll into the down smash. Game three, PS2. <laughs> we see Greg with the jazz hands warming up. Hold on, is this a is this a button test or nope, nope? They're playing the game. All right. Greg was just trying to make sure his hands were on the controller right there. <laughs> Ooh, nice oh, knots for Atsu, but it didn't pay off okay. right there. Not at all. Crazy punish. I, I mean, I'm expecting a roll. Yeah, show the mains all know the roll is going to happen there. Just keeping it on the The jump's going to happen here or no. You learned a little attack. something from Teaser, man. Yeah. The game right here that Jaws was trying to play is keep baiting and forcing other options that, you know, aren't beautiful pairs. Wow. He's forcing this man to play options that he doesn't want to play, but is very uncomfortable because it seems safe. Yeah. And right. also, I mean, Robin's not being the most mobile. It's not really like he can get past him that Exactly. That His air speed's not the greatest. So jumping over isn't really the best Beautiful option. awareness with the back air. Johnson's making sure to not be on autopilot. Just keep watching his opponent keep adapting. And right now, um, Greg is going to have to find a way to just fight back. He had it in game two, and he can definitely bring it back in game three. The awareness on that grab, phenomenal, knowing he's stuck on that platform. All right. Jaza would miss the stage control, but right now he has to deal with the arc fire, so we're going to have to reset the ledge once again. And I'll tell you something that is hard when you're playing against Jazo. He parries, like, everything. Like, yeah. It, you have to be so tricky. You know, it's funny. Um, When I used to play this game, actually, there was a point where people were actually afraid of touching my shield. Yeah. yeah they, they, people would air dodge away when I was shielding. And that's the thing that Jazo's going to run into, and he probably is running into right now, because his parry game is very strong. And pairing with the Shoto and, like, Fox and all these characters with good frame data is very vital. Yeah. Vital to your gameplay. I mean, like, the way Jazo does it, he makes you feel, he's like, dead. stupid. He's dead. Oh, no, he's oh. not. He didn't get the multi hit. It definitely makes you feel stupid every time. You feel like you play right into his trap. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, he's just an insane player. Right now, it's looking like it's Jazo's game with his three-stock lead, and that could be... Nope. Nope. All right. 
Right now, Greg is making sure to fight back, even with the last stock that he has. He has to take as far as possible he can. He can't give up here. Nice back air. Definitely Good jump for you. Jazzo wants his rematch, though. I know he's not happy about losing the teaser. Yeah. Jazzo is fighting back. He doesn't want to go out here, and that DP is oh. taking the game for yeah, sure. That's definitely really good. <laughs> so good, Jazzo. A little, a little preemptive there. Yeah. But. Let's make sure that, that he didn't burn all his energy in that yeah. game. He still has some some fuel running. Yeah. Honestly, probably helped him. He was probably playing like like the world was gonna end. Yeah. If he didn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now he has some room, some wiggle room. Yeah. And now Greg has to play at the world's about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so maybe you might see a turnaround. Yeah, I mean. All right, we are. Uh, all right, all right. All right. Okay. Yeah, we are in game four right now. And we're going to try to see who's going to take this lead in Smashville. Last time we were at Smashville, I do believe that Greg was the one that to win this. So it's very interesting that, you know, Jaws are doing ban this stage. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. It could be a number of things. It could also be like he's already ahead. He's that could be death. Oh. Good conversion by Greg. Well, wow. Now, Early stock. Yeah. Now, Jazzo needs to, oh, Ray's turned it up a little bit. His, his timing mix-ups and his, his timing mix-ups have turned up a notch. He's yeah. throwing Jazzo off. Now, unlike Samus, right, Ken versus um, Robin isn't going to be that hard for Ken because of the fact that Robin is, you know, not mobile. Yeah. Um, but I do believe Greg can keep playing this game right. Keep, you know, playing with your project. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, oh no beer reverse. Yeah. yeah, you're usually supposed to be reverse there when the your opponent's there so you don't oh, okay. you know, fall out. Yeah, I was expecting that. But it's really hard for Strolling Mains to find out if they have to do it there or not. Yeah, because he did end up on the other side of Yeah, it. exactly. Um, good forward there by Greg. Greg is just taking this by storm. I think Smashville yeah. might be the move for this matchup right here. I think it's a little bit of Smashville and, you know, knowing that his back's up, up against the corner. Players of this caliber, like, they just turn it up when, you know, Okay. Ooh, the beer burst the beer right burst there. Out. He, he yeah. knew. He knew. He learned from his mistake, made that quick adaptation. Extreme adaptation. That's what you need to win these games right now. It looks like the person with the most adaptation right now is Greg. So let's see. Let's see if Ken can be Ken things and bring things back immediately. Oh, that's not good. He lost his double jump. That could be game. Yup. That's what happens when you're too aggressive and burning that double jump. You need to make sure you manage your double jump. When Robin's facing well, that, that air to air becomes a problem for Ken as well. Yeah. Because Ken not having a sword, yeah, that is something he has to consider. It's a very difficult game. And that was a very commanding game for him. Looks yeah. like Jaws of Mind have ran out of fuel. Yeah. But I mean, I think I think his momentum was a little thrown off because yeah. he really thought. Yeah. He really thought it was a two out of three. Somebody needs to get my boy some G fuel. Let his energy yeah. build up again. <laughs> He might not even realize he was in the losers finals. He, yeah. He was just going, he was just in the zone. Yeah, and that happens a lot. Yeah. But I mean, he knows now. <laughs> so. He wants this run back. Yeah. And I'm all for it. You know, my first tournament actually, the first win I ever had in a tournament, I lost against my bracket demon Jonathan, who had a positive record on me for like 10 0. Wow. And he knocked me out um, very early. And without even thinking about where I was, I was dead set. I'm pushing to get back the revenge that I wanted. He killed me at zero with his Lucas, and I was I was very very like yeah. focused on getting that. And I think that's what the, the energy Jazzo has here tonight. He wants to make sure that you keep pushing. Yeah. Uh, you don't care who you're gonna fight. You have a goal to get to whoever took you out, and you want to beat them there. Yeah, exactly. I feel that. And the whole time, you're, yeah, you're focused on this game, but the whole time you're thinking about what I need to do better against this player. You know you can beat that player. You have to have that kind of energy within you. Because if you don't know if you can beat somebody, you're not going to beat them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to, in order to beat, and this is what a lot of players actually struggle with. In order to beat someone, you got to, the minimum requirement, you got to believe that you can beat them. Yeah. If you're playing someone and you automatically assume that, like, there's no way you're going to win, you want to see how far you can get, you're hurting yourself. Yeah, you're you hurting gotta yourself. you got to go in there with that, that mentality, like, I can win this. Yeah. Everybody Let, has an off day. Yeah, exactly. Let's see which player is believing in himself more. Let's see if he can be able to clutch this out. We are on game five, the losers finals. On town, this is, has a lot more space. Yeah, um, this I is their like tournament start. Uh, right here, this is honestly kind of risky for um for Greg because, the, oh, Greg with the SDI, trying to get out of the combo. That is very good. Greg is aware of this matchup then. Um, I mean, when you have to play against Jago this often at this high in bracket, I'm sure. 
Yeah. I'm sure you know that. The counterplay is there. He's making sure that, hey, I'm going to play on the bigger stage, keep you away here. And honestly, that can pay off. But what's very risky about town is that at ledge, Ken can kill you a lot earlier than you don't right. like that. Yeah, you don't want to die early against this character. It's got those small side, uh, side blasts on But overall, the, the neutral is going to be in. That, no, no shield break right there. Yeah. Something was stale. We don't know what move it was, but something was stale. But yeah, you don't want to force yourself to play Ken's game. Yeah, that back here was so bare, bare. But yeah, a big stage also gives Ken more room to combo on. You can extend your combos across the stage here. I really like how I Greg does that full hop, and as he's falling, a lot of people will try to catch him as he's falling in anti air, but then yeah. he drops that arc, the arc fire on him. I think right there we got to see a shield poke against the Eleven Sword, but this is wow, wow. We didn't see a bear or anything. Just yeah, to, I think he, it looked like he went for like this the, uh, footstool air dodge. Probably, Maybe. yeah. Um, right here he has to find the stock as soon as possible because right now he's at Ken kill percent. Um, and you don't want to be there right now at all, but maybe you might be able to get this ledge trap if he goes deep. Yeah, there we go. There's not really a lot Ken could have done in that situation. At so all. Smart. Yeah. Holding on to this percent. Oh, I'm all getting right. a little bit of a heal. Yeah. Any amount of percent is good for you in this matchup. You don't want to lose your um, stock too early. Definitely. I mean, it's not bad because he healed that. He got hit some more, and he's still oh. lower than where he was previously. Wow, he didn't do the medium DP there. He was, doesn't want to commit in case he misses. Yeah. I think Jazzo just didn't want to take the risk. That could be the stop. Yeah. Wow. I agree. I have to dig deep. Now, one thing that a lot of people need to learn, like, for example, in this Ken situation where he doesn't do medium DP, you can option select. Option selecting is a thing that a lot of players do at high level, where if one of your conversions miss, miss, the next one doesn't come out. But if it does land, the next one will come out. Right. And it's very useful um, at these levels of play. But that aside, that looking like is really key at this level, so. Yeah. That aside, Jazzo looks like he, ooh, that was medium, that was game. Robin. Almost wow. Robin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost Robin Robin, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this is all looking pretty dicey right now for Greg. Um, the gap needs to be closed by a lot. And Jazzo's just not letting up. Yeah. Jazzo has a lot of room here. Yeah, he's showing that, hey, you have all the stage to, you know, put your projectiles out there, but I'm Ken. I can just run over there immediately. I think, I think Ken has the same speed as Mario. Characters, oh, oh, that's bear. It. That's bear, yeah. Oh, my that's God. Game. That game. That was insane. He's too good at great this Great showing from Jazzo. And high grade. I mean, that was a great set. Jazzo coming out a little bit stronger today. Getting ready to, yeah. He's getting ready to get his revenge. So this, so this is guaranteed second for Jazzo, right?